Hi guys, today we are looking at a greedy algorithm and it's part of a hacker rank challenge called Greed Challenge. So we're going to be working with characters, strings, and basic C++ stuff that I've already covered a lot in my previous uh, hacker rank videos. So here the instructions say uh, we're given a square grid of characters and we are allowed to rearrange them to sort them in alphabetical order. And then after rearranging them, we need to check uh, from top to bottom, column by column, if the columns are also sorted in ascending alphabetical order. So this is an example here. You can see we have three rows um, of uh, three characters, A, B, C. Then we have A, D, E, and E, F, G. These rows are in alphabetical order, so this is fine. Let's assume that we've already rearranged them. But now we need to check if the columns are also sorted in alphabetical order. So A, A, and E, that is fine, it is sorted. B, D, and F, it's also fine. C, E, and G, that is also fine. So in this case, the rows are in alphabetical order and the columns are also in alphabetical order. So in our program here, what they want us to do is outputs yes, if you receive a grid like this. Otherwise, um, if we had failed one of these conditions, then we would have to print no. So this is the sample input. And they give us uh, two examples or a single one, I believe. Uh, yeah, the rest of the examples are available as uh, test case inputs. I've used a couple of hackers to display or to, to pick, have a look at what exactly my code is tested against. And this is an example here, what you see in my browser. Anyway, uh, I've already written my code here. It's on the right. So I'm going to explain now line by line my solution. Uh, before I do that though, let's scroll down quickly. You can see here, T is for the number of test cases. And then for each and every single test case, um, we, we input the number N. And N here, they explain, because that's their input, so they explain that uh, the first line contains N, which is the number of rows and columns in the grid. So because there is a single number N, we assume that the number of rows and columns are the same thing. So that's why they are square grids. But anyway, after that, um, we basically get some input and we store it in a grid. So that grid of strings is what we would receive here in the function that we have to complete called grid challenge. And that function takes a vector of strings as a parameter, also called grid. So in this case, like I said, because it looks like this, our input will look like this, our grid, I mean, is going to look like this, we know that each and every row is a single string. We can get the number of rows using grid.size. So uh, because we can't access n, n is only used in the main function here. So if we want to know how many rows we have, we can call uh, the uh, dot .size method on our grid, which is a vector. So here we get the number of rows with grid.size, and then we loop through each and every single row. So for instance, we look through this, then we will get to here and then to here and so on and we sort the characters in that row or in that string. So remember that in C++, uh, strings also have iterators. So this is an example here, string begin. Begin will return you an iterator pointing to the first character of the string. So I can go back here and use the sort function in C++ to pass the beginning of my string and the end of my string, pass the end, and then it's going to sort it or rather rearrange the characters in alphabetical order. So now that we have our strings or our rows is the same thing in, in this context, our strings are sorted in alphabetical order. We can also get the, uh, the number of columns. Now I need to point something out. This is actually not necessary because you can see here, we only have a single number, which is N and N is used for the number of rows and columns. But um, I think it's still a good thing to have here. You never know if in the future, maybe they're going to change that uh, challenge and it's going to, to allow for different types of grids. So for instance, 10 by five, six by eight and stuff like that. So in this case, you would need to get the number of columns separately. Anyway, uh, now we can just use a nested for loop. So the, the outer loop is going to have I starting at zero is going to go through all the rows in our grid, but we need to add minus one. You will see why in a moment. So we loop through, we increment I at every iteration. And then inside our nested loop, 
we have j here, int j equals zero. We're going to loop through all the columns and then we increment j at every iteration. And we check if the character at a specific point in our grid, which is pretty much like, it looks like a matrix now, right? If you look here. So for instance, we're going to check if L is less or greater than D. That's what we are checking for. So in this case, we check if that character is greater than the character below it in our grid. So in this case, if L is greater than D, which is below it, that's why we have I plus one because I is for the rows. So we are asking if this current character, I, J, is greater than I plus one, which means one row below and J for the index of the column. And we check if it's greater, that means we have failed, uh, we have failed our test basically. So we know that the columns are not sorted in alphabetical order. It doesn't matter if it's just a single column. What we want to do here, uh, we, we need to only return yes at the bottom here, if all the rows and all the columns are in alphabetical order. So if we fail once, we just stop everything and we return no. So um, that's pretty much the code here is very short. It looks a bit lengthy because of my comments, but let's run this code right now and make sure that we pass the, uh, the test cases. So we pass test case zero and sample test case one. Now let's submit this code and make sure that we pass all the test cases. Uh, many people did not pass test case 10, which is this one that I'm showing you here. And I believe it has to do with uh, the fact that not every grid was um, a square grid. But um, as of now, everything looks fine. So yeah, we've passed this, uh, this challenge. Uh, I hope it was pretty easy to you because it was, uh, it was pretty fun for me when I was solving it. But anyway, if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, drop your comments in the comment section, and I will catch you next time. Bye.